Right, there's the tunnel, folks. Which I can easily go through. If I want to, I went through it two weeks ago. Um, I thought I got this track instead. I haven't done it for a while. Just want, don't want to bump into a bike hurtling down here though. I got a feeling it comes out near the where I walked up that little glade this morning. I've got time to do this, you see. It's just something you can do when when you feel like it. I think I'm going to be really, really knackered tomorrow, though. All the muscles that haven't been really exercised since November properly are going to, are going to let me know they exist. Yeah, I can't see me going out on another walk for a week. I think I'll just try and do one of these big ones a week. Keep to me local ones. Although at one time, I would have classed this as local. Just doing that, you know. Oh dear. I'm exhausted really. I am quite tired. Anyway, it's the 20... No, it's the 2nd of March, 2023. And uh, the tunnel's down now, which I've been through. I went through it and back through it two weeks ago. I thought, let's go up here and have a look again. <sighs> Might be a mistake. I don't know. But we got the time. It's not three o'clock yet. Oh, I tell you what, I'm knackered really. Are you? Yeah. Really knackered. This was just enough. It's like I said, because I haven't been and not only that, I would say I was, I said, I was saying, I was 80% down on the walks I usually do. There have been a load of big walks I would have done by now, because it was not the season of the cow. That's what was important for me to get out today, get this done. and fit a few hills in with it. I needn't have done this hill because I've just gone through the tunnel. The tunnel's under here, where I am now. This is where the tunnel is, underneath. It's difficult using the, uh, the hand. I don't know where I'm going, by the way. I'm hoping I come up by the car park. But that looks like a nice walk up that way, but that'll take you up onto the down. So I know I'm not going that way. Right, just yeah, turn so it off down a there is the tunnel entrance down there. Bit of netting to catch the old stone. There's the path. This will be embankment.
and this is Kingswood. There are loads of places called Kingswood, aren't there? Do you know what I mean? I'm going to go back through the Lee, the Glade. That's what I'm doing. They chopped a lot of big trees down up here a couple of years ago. There's a thinning them out. A lot of big ones they chopped down. There's a little cottage. We won't be coming back here yet until I'm recovered a bit more. Don't think I'm quite ready for Crook's Peak yet. Ashback, Ash Die Back Regeneration. Just a quick Hi, video. Do you want to speak to the camera? Go say hello. What are you looking at? What can you see? Hey? What can you see, Dan? Yeah. All right, I'll leave you alone. Going now. Going now. Well, this is what I came up this morning. Seems ages ago now, doesn't it? I came up here. And yet it only seems five minutes ago as well. I just thought we'd go back a different way and make it a bit, you know, make it interesting the walk. I could have walked through the tunnel again, but I did it the other week. So I thought, no. Yeah. Is that an old box, bottle? I wonder what that is, oh yeah. On metal top, old. I don't know. Sometimes you can follow this path I'm on now all the way down, but I don't know if it turns into thick mud. Is it as prone to that? Maybe not so much now. Maybe it is all right to walk all the way down. I did it. I have done it, but it used to be thick mud, and you had to sort of stepping stone type of, um, action further down where it gets damper so I don't know if I will or not doesn't look too bad at the moment though does it you come out further down what do you want to do no I won't go down it's a bit bumpy we'll stay up the top we'll do it another time looks a bit too bumpy Looks dry though. Come on, might have to put me out on in a minute. But it ain't even three o'clock yet, you know. Right, back in Slader's Lee Nature Reserve. Oh, I've been some pruning here as well. Now there was something special about these trees and I'm sure they had a plaque once. Ah yes there is a plaque. Look at that old tree, what character that is. Small leaf limes. Talilla cordata. Frail ancient trees. Thought to be over 800 years old, that's when they did that by the way. They're netted to stop the deer from getting to them. Yeah, very fragile, difficult to flower. Um, that one looks like it's suffering a bit. It's a bit of a character though, isn't it, that one? And this one's been... They're all frail, these trees. Yeah, so we're just walking back down now. I'm just going to check the time again. It could be three o'clock now, for all we know, we did a diversion. Yep, 
No, it's only 20 to 3. We've got an hour and a half, really. If it was 20 to 4, I'd be rushing like crazy. We can still take our time here, though. I'm going to get my hat out in a minute. It's quite cold, actually, isn't it, you know? I'm going to branch off and go down the little side path. And we can also see the pathway that I thought about going down to see if it is boggy. Oh, that's quite cold, that is. That is quite cold. I wonder if it is boggy down there. Can't quite see, but it's quite deep, that uh, pathway. That's right, because I'll get back five, five-ish, see? It's better than getting back at seven, which I've done loads of times, mind where, by the way, when I've got to get the late bus from Cheddar. Yeah, it comes out down the bottom there. We're just going to have a look. One minute. There's plenty of time to look. We can just see if it's mucky down here. Uh, looks a bit damp. A little bit on the damp side. You can see all the snowdrops or something that's going to come up here. Someone's been doing a little bit of clearing. Yeah, we can see it a bit more down here. Yeah, no, it's not too bad. I could have walked it, actually. I could have walked it. It actually goes further down. Could have gone right down the next to the next field. Another old tree with a seat on top of it. Alright, I'm just going to turn off and take a picture. Right, well, the other side of the tunnel now, but we came over the nice meadows with natural ponds been made there and trees replanted. And uh, this will probably be the last video now of today. As I walk, I walked along here earlier this morning. Well, it wasn't early, it was sort of about going on for half ten. By the time I got here on the bus. So, that's another thing, it's a late start. Um, I used to always sort of be over Cheddar by about quarter to ten in the past, I see. This is like nearly an hour later, I mean. Yeah, you can go through that way as well, and there's walks that I haven't explored yet. I should imagine you could probably walk across country to the church. So that's something else that could possibly be for the, well, the cows will be out soon, won't they? Well, that's possibly another little outing you could do if you just want to do the church. So, here we go. Slader's Lee. Something. Nature Reserve. Of course, I was right up on the top there. <laughs> Lovely walk that was. I really, I did, I did enjoy it. And uh, there we go. There's, there's the tunnel. I just took a picture a minute ago. I thought, should I go and walk for it again? No, don't need to. I can share the one I did two weeks ago if I want to. We're just having a very slow plod now. This is a strawberry line, Sheila, on the 2nd of March 2023. Day before my daughter Zara's birthday. The day before the date 
in 2018 when my sister Jude passed and died. She was only 68 and she'd always looked after herself. But you can't, environmental things kill people, even when they're trying to keep healthy themselves. That's why I'm so sh I go on about this pots, these pot smokers. Because then if they want to destroy their lives, let them. But, the, you know, don't try and pollute me. And my sister, what she got was not her own fault, it was environmental. Right, I'm going to turn off in now. Over and out, folks. Here we go.